Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Jazzy here, AKA Mommy Beers A Lot. So happy you're here for another installment of Black Girl's Guide to Craft Beer. If you have been here from the beginning of this journey with me, awesome, welcome back. If it's your first time with me, welcome. So we're gonna jump right into it. Um, exciting news. Exciting news, um, I got some of my glasses here. Website is dropping soon, Jazz and Pizzazz. So definitely make sure to follow me on social media. I got some, some real nice things rolling out. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, you see my babies on some of the videos. This is my newest baby, so I'm very excited. But definitely hit me up, you know. I got you. So today we are going to be doing a review on one of Drecker's beers, they are out of North Dakota. And you know, I've only seen their beer on Instagram. So when I found it at the Drop Bottle Shop in Manassas, VA, if you're in Northern Virginia, check it out. But um, they carry Drecker, okay? That's the only place I've been able to find it in my area. So for real, this has been sitting in my fridge for, uh, it's probably been like two months now. So I was like, uh, it is a sour, Yes, a Sunday sour, so a sour ale. Um, you know, it's made with fruit. So I was like, girl, you better get on that because I'm gonna be tight if it goes bad before I get to taste the yummy goodness. You know what I'm saying? So, Drecker, again, out of North Dakota. Honestly, I don't see myself going to North Dakota anytime soon. So you see the can, like it is super colorful. Your girl obviously likes color. Um, I love how on the can, it talks about the malts, the hops that are used. It's very detailed, like letting you know like what's in it. Um, this particular one has notes of cherry, peanut butter, vanilla soft serve ice cream, waffle cones, lactose and chocolate. So it's literally, yeah, it's cherry drumstick Sunday sour. I'm definitely intrigued. So this is a 16 ounce can. Um, I did purchase a individual can of it. Um, it is pricier than uh, than the beer that I would get, like at Total Wine, for instance. Um, and I mean, just talking about the different notes that are in here, you can tell they put a lot of love. You know, there's special ingredients in here that you wouldn't find in a, I don't know, like a Corona or a Blue Moon or a Yingling. Um, this just yells me like dessert. It's just, it's a dessert. You can have your dessert and your drink all at the same time. Um, I don't know if I would drink this with a meal. This would definitely be like a, a dessert okay so after your meal go ahead get you one of these um i am assuming it's delicious i've only had one other beer from this particular brewery and it was phenomenal so i only expect good things from this one I'm looking for the abv on this and oh it's on the bottom of the can okay so it's actually very helpful because i have actually noticed some cans that don't have the abv and i'm just kind of like flying blindly so good to know check the bottom of the can um it even tells me like when it was canned date and time i like that uh, but this is a six percent six percent abv um so i expect it to be a very easy drink you probably won't even feel like you're drinking a beer to be honest so if you're new to the craft beer game or you're intrigued but you don't really know where to start and you do have a sweet too because your girl your girl likes sweets as well i ain't gonna lie but um I'm gonna venture out and say this would be one that you would want to try. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. All right, so skin, 6% ABV. Um, I pulled this straight out the fridge, so it is nice and cold. Sour ales, I would recommend drinking them nice and chilled. I would not drink a warm sour, actually warm beer in general. Not really feeling that. But um, I know some beers is preferred to just let it like sit for a smidge. I wouldn't recommend that with the sour ales. That's just my opinion. Now I probably should have like rolled the can a little bit just to get any type of um, like sediments that could be on the bottom from the fruits that they used in this particular beer. Um, Cause you want it all throughout, but you know, it is what it is. It's all going in the glass and it's all going down the chute. So it's all going to the same place. So I ain't tripping on that, but I'll try to keep that in mind for next time. Sometimes I get really excited. So hmm. any losers. So let's see the color. Oh. That's beautiful. Wow. I love it. Yes, Drecker. <sighs> oh. 
off the top, you smell the peanut butter. So I'm gonna venture out there to say, if you don't like peanut butter, don't get this one, don't do it. But if you do like peanut butter, this, this, I, feel, I feel like this is gonna be a treat. It's the peanut butter, it's the peanut butter. I, not, I don't wanna say the peanut butter is overpowering, but it's definitely the first thing that hits your nose. Um, the color, that is a beautiful freaking color. Um, definitely knowing that there are notes of cherry in here. This makes sense to me. Um, you see the sediment, so you know they put like that real good, that good stuff in here, okay? That real, that, that real, real. I see sediment just like slowly falling down. It's not, um, you cannot see through it at all. This is a thick one. This is thick, thick, okay? So this is not one that you'd be just throwing them back, okay? This is a one and done type scenario. I think that's what I'm guessing, but I'm about to let you know. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Yes, Drekker, you better work. For real though, I know I said that I would not, or not I would not, but I don't see myself going to North Dakota. I might pull up for you. I might, or for real, if y'all want to hit your girl up and you know, just, hey, when you in the area, mommy beer is a lot. I want to go ahead and just go ahead and have a flight on us, okay? Hint, hint. Okay, I don't know if y'all got any black people in North Dakota, but I'll make the trip for y'all. I'll do it. How at me. So does it taste like a six percent? Um, sure, sure, sure it does. Um, you know, again, when I think of six percent, not strong at all. It's it, it it is. It's it's a it's a Sunday. It is a Sunday in a glass, okay? It is Luffy, I don't know if you you want something. No, I know I see people, I see people on the gram giving their uh their doggies brewskis. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Or at least maybe like have your own glass. I ain't sharing a glass with you. Like you be licking your butt on whatnot. That's gross. I don't know. Anyway, um, mm hmm. It tastes like a Sunday. I, I, I get the hints of chocolate, the vanilla, the cherry. <laughs> okay, Drecker. I'm for it. Cherry drumstick. Who don't like a drumstick? Cherry drumstick, Sunday sour. Yes. I definitely recommend this one. If you see Drecker, get it. Um, the last time I had them, it was Christmas. I'm gonna say it was Christmas. And I held on to that can till Christmas. It was amazing. Did a little reel on it. So again, follow me on IG. Mommy bears a lot. Um, if you like my content, like physically like it and you know, follow your girl. Um, again, I'm working on this glassware website. So I will definitely let you guys know when it drops. And um, just keep your ears and eyeballs open. Well, I so appreciate you guys joining me for another installment of Black Girls Guide to Craft Beer. I hope that since I started my journey or at least sharing my journey with you guys that you have ventured out there, tried something new that you would have never tried before and found something that you like. Um, I really do believe that beer is for everyone. I mean, you know, I respect, you know, people who don't drink Feel you for those who do drink and they tell me they've had beer and they don't like it it tastes like boo 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 um i do believe there's a beer out there for everybody um i gravitate more toward the salts and the sours i do like I'm, I'm i'm beer bougie i'm a beer snob i will admit that um you know i don't throw no shade on anyone who likes you know what you can get at 7-eleven but i do enjoy a good craft beer okay so Definitely keep following me if that's something you're interested in, if that's something you want to learn more about. Again, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Black Girls Guys Craft Beer. We'll see you next time. Cheers.